The hookup sheet's pretty crazy. I've seen some like weird stuff on there because people yeah. put like what they're into. Yeah, no, I, I yeah. saw it. I took a peep. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. you trying to get in yourself? No, no. <laughs> That's fucking sus, man. Okay. I, I can't comment. <laughs> you guys are best dudes. Kind of Wait, who's that guy that we saw? Bryce Hall at a party. Oh my God. He like came up to me and then he was like, The Tinder life on here is crazy. Bro. You're guaranteed to like hook up. <laughs> the song's dedicated to the shoddies. Oh my gosh! How's it? Uh, it's kind of hard shadows. Thank you, brother, for doing this. Yeah, uh, man. Yes, sir. Big fan, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, first question: What's your name? Where are you from? And what are you studying? My name is Chris. I'm a third-year psychology student, pre-med. I'm from Northridge. LA. I'm like an LA kid. I'm studying international development and anthropology. I'm Malaysia. I'm a second-year business economics major. Oh, nice. Did you go to international school? Though? I did. ISKL. Do you know that one? No, I used to go to international school, Shanghai oh, American shit. School. Oh, SAS? Yeah, 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 does that ring a bell? I have like friends who like moved from there. I'm a third year and I'm studying math and econ, Belarus. I also <laughs> went to international school. Oh, where, where? What are some like juicy traditions or like juicy things that are going on at UCLA? We were kind of talking about it earlier. Like there's like this, the, the hookup sheet. Oh yeah, the hookup sheet. The, the, they have the underwear run tonight, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think hookup sheet is like probably the craziest thing? I mean, the hookup sheet's pretty crazy. I've seen some like weird stuff on there because people yeah. put like what they're into. Yeah. And like, bro, you learn these people like better than their psychologists. Like it's like yeah, some yeah, crazy yeah. shit they put yeah. on there. Yeah, no, I, I yeah. saw it. I took a peep. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. you try to get in yourself? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. but I think if you use that, like, actually, like, you're kind of fucking weird. Yeah, I think yeah. you, like, there's a pretty big, like, hookup culture here. The Tinder life on here is crazy, bro. Really? It's uh -huh. huge. Like, my homeboy, like, back in, like, last quarter, like, every other week, he just hit up a chick on Tinder. They just want it. They boom. Yeah, sleep yeah. over Netflix and yeah, yeah. next girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, I mean, I'm, but do you think that that's, like, unique to UCLA or do you think most? I think a lot of colleges are like that, but UCLA, everyone's so busy with their shit. A lot of yeah, people okay. don't like to connect. Yeah. They don't like to, like, really stay in something, like, intimate, okay. so they just like a quick one. Oh. Okay, so, okay. No, that's what that's what they told me at Yale too. Everyone's so, oh, this, 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 this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like hookup culture is definitely like a thing here. You can <laughs> no, no, that was good insight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they said something about like an uh, underwear run tonight. Oh just, yeah, we're doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. really fun. Yeah, that's yeah. like a finals week tradition. Everybody like parties in their underwear. Like yeah. it's like Oh they party afterwards. I mean yeah, like everybody parties in their underwear. Like you're guaranteed to like hook up. At least oh, really? I mean, oh. Okay, this is something I'm I'm personally like fascinated with. Yeah, no, because I I grew up in China. Like my dream was to play like D1 basketball. Oh, yeah, it didn't work out though. <laughs> UCLA is like a huge D1 school, like really solid football and basketball team. So like, do you think like the the athletes here, like you know, have like more sex appeal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Wait, like for sure. That's a fast answer. <laughs> Wait, don't you think so? I think it's like an objective opinion too. I'm I'm, I'm just assuming you guys are heterosexual. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you think if you were in a relationship with a guy? And like one of like the star basketball player approach you at a party. Do you think it would be hard to? Bro, <laughs> I think it depends on like how serious I am about my relationship. Like how long have I been with a guy, right? If it's only been like a month, like then screw that. <laughs> okay. No, that that's honestly that's that's, that's like so, no. I, I I appreciate the honesty. Oh, I feel like people that I hang out with like don't generally think that way because I feel like we're. I mean, I think so. You think that way about everybody? No. <laughs> Can you see? In my like circle of friends, people we'll lean more towards like like smarter like business. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. UCLA is in a really nice location, like the three B's, close to Beverly Hills, Bel Air. Yeah. Brentwood. I'm sure there's like a lot of celebrities nearby. So for you, like any cool celebrity experiences? Obviously, there's a lot of TikTokers, a lot of influencers. You see celebrities now and then. Just I met this boy Jay Zone one time. I was, I'm a big fan. I kind of had like a, a fan moment right there. But, oh, they're filming also a movie. I'm sure. Oh, you got... Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Yeah, Matt Damon, Christopher Nolan was there. Probably a lot of children of celebrities that come here though. Oh, that's true. Yeah, big that's time. True. Big time. I know USC has that stuff. Yeah, yeah. We know how that went down a couple years ago, right? Oh, Dude. Yeah. Wait, who's that guy that we saw? Bryce Hall at a party. Oh my gosh. Oh my I, god, I, every girl I, says I, that. Okay. He like came up to me and then he was like, oh, my name's Bryce. And I was like, 
oh like what are you doing here and he was like I don't go to UCLA and I was like okay so why are you here and he was like I live in Bel Air and I was like oh so you must be famous and he was like I make TikToks and I was like no fucking way and then he oh, was like oh shit so he, he approached like, you no yeah but, oh. I was, but that was because I was like standing like alone like I was really like oh, okay. when Bryce Hall approached you you didn't know who Bryce Hall was no I'm like not on that side of TikTok okay. like, I don't really care yeah, about like yeah. TikTokers and okay. it's so funny I feel like 75% of girls here have had some sort of experience yeah with that's Bryce. true like, always yeah, yeah. Him and like the other guy Josh. Yeah, like, Josh Richards, yeah. Like, really? <laughs> like always. Literally, I like walked up the stairs like right next to him. Uh -huh. like, uh -huh. Yeah, they're just running around with their like cameras all the time. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. 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 Oh, oh, this is actually really interesting. Oh wait, yeah. crazy story though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a few days ago, one of my friends works at like Wooden, which is like the rec center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the wizards were training there, so she like took a selfie with Kyle Kuzma, which I was like so jealous about. <laughs> but, yeah. Wow, what about Drake? He's like old and weird. Because <laughs> of like the Millie Brown thing or what? Uh, yeah, you actually knew exactly what I was talking about. Oh. So you can't deny it either. I, I can't comment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, since you guys are besties, it's kind of bad, right? That's like, that's like my whole brand, by the way. Like, Drake is your whole brand. No, 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 like, like being like Drake's. <laughs> that's that's an inch I've never heard that one before. I yeah. hope you do. I hope at some point you really do. I think that'd be great for your brain. <laughs> I appreciate it. Like UCLA is like one of the best schools on the West Coast. A lot of high this is for like the high schoolers watching. Like what do you think made you sort of like stand out in high school? I had a 3.7 in high school. I didn't do too well. Do they even take like SAT, ACT? I think now they don't. Now they do, don't? But like yeah. four, oh. four or some shit. Okay. Like pretty good. Honestly, I think the biggest thing that made me stand out was like personal statements. Like mm. that is like what matters. Well, what did you write your personal statement on? If you don't mind sharing. I honestly, I think the one that got me in was for the question, what's your greatest hardship question? And I wrote a poem as opposed to like, just like a regular personal statement. Um, and I'm fairly certain that's what got me into Yeah, go. that's it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Was, was there anything you want me to uh, cut up? No, by the way, that's basically it. Thank oh, you. Oh, shit. Yeah. No problem. Man. Appreciate it, bro. Hey, I'm a big fan, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. Thank you. Man. Appreciate it. Bro. Thank you. Are you guys doing anything for spring break? So I'm going to San Diego and then Mexico with like, some people. Mm. Nah, I'm working. I gotta get on oh, the YouTube grind. Yeah, YouTube grind. Yeah. <laughs> hey! fitness, all the UFC gyms. He's built like 10 NFL gyms. Drake is your whole brain. No, no, no. Shotty is throwing that shit. Me, I'm supporting this shit. This is a story. It came from my life and I'm just recording this shit.